Oh, what I will be doing is getting out these last potions here. Do I have any more than I need to? Uh, no, and then I will glowstone infuse them because I can. And then I think, was these, will these be potions? Um, yeah, I can extend these and I guess I can extend this too. It's the hang of it. Oh, this! I don't care about this thing. Let's extend these next time this, when this is done. I need to keep some more well. as well. I need to repair some. I need to repair the boots. There you go, that's good enough. And just, oh, I'm running out of armor. That's not good. Right. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I already have some. No, mine. Alright, cool. Yeah, alright, and then boop, boop, boop. Yeah, Alright, good, let's get back to work. So, put that in here, put that there. Torches. I should probably make some more torches while I'm here, actually. Mm. There you go. Alright, let's go. I have all the things I need. I don't really need speed potions for this, so we don't need to worry about those brewing up. We can just leave them be, it's fine. Let's go. Back into the mountain. Actually, that's not a mountain. Back into the jaws of death. Even though it's not the jaws, it's just saw here, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's get let's back in here. Let's be getting here. Now let's get back in. No, oh, hello. It's already a welcoming party for me. That's a palace. Oh. I just realized. Oh, yeah, right. Arrows. We still. Oh, jeez. We still don't really have any arrows at our disposal. These 45 arrows I have, that's all I have. Luckily, I think I have one more in my fucking chest at base. But apart from that, that's all we have. Well, actually, no, I have a chicken farm and I have gravel. I could just farm flint and then make some more arrows, actually. Yeah, that is perfect, dude. Yeah, I can do that. Alright, so I guess my arrow situation isn't as bad as I thought it was. Well, it is still bad in terms of usable arrows. Um, oh, 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 chest, 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 chest. If this chest has arrows in it, I'd be fucking amazingly happy. That'd be like the best thing ever. Although, it probably won't have arrows in it. I'll probably have. I don't know what it'll have. Maybe it'll have some food and coal. And a diamond shovel or something like that. Oh, you asshole, you shot me just in the nigga time. Get back. At least the infighting will be worse before I interrupt it. Again. Oh, carrot! Is there two creepers around here? No, it's just one. Although, now that I have a potato, a carrot isn't really that useful to me, but. Um, what's this? I guess there was an explosion here at some point, I just don't remember it. Um, why am I hearing someone shooting? Where are you shooting from? And at I assume it's at me, but I don't know. I just like this one. Let's just all right, let me just do this a skeleton. I don't see a skeleton. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything. Um, there's one right there, never mind. Fixed. Let's go get that chest and see what's in it. See if there's anything good in it. Hopefully there is. Oh, no, 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 no. Other blocks. That's kind of cute. I'll take that. I don't really know what I'll use them for, though. There's 11 lava buckets. One huge lava bucket, that is. Um, but uh, depending on how much you've seen of my playthroughs already, I don't really use lava buckets, so... I don't know. Maybe it's an error at the end there, I don't know. It, it seems weird to give 11 lava source blocks out like that. Well, no, I'll take it. Maybe I can find a use for them. I don't know, though. We'll have to see what happens. All this fucking water, I swear to God. Maybe there's some sort of... I could make a cobblestone generator, I guess. I don't see what I need it for, but I could make it, you know. Just the, the This spawner is really rapid. It's more of a, you know, principal thing that I could make it if I wanted to, but I don't want to. 
It's not to need to this. I don't have covers down here in the hallway. Like, all I need. Should I just cut off this water? Let's just temporarily do this. Um, oh gee, the water is spreading like mad. Hopefully this will make it a little easier to traverse in here, but the problem is it'll also make it easier for the enemies to traverse in here, so... I don't know if this is gonna be a bad idea or not. It'll also make it easier to spot the chests, so that's at least a good thing about it. Looting will become much easier for me! Ah, oh, he got a hit in. That was so close to being a flawless kill without any... Without any of that, yes, exactly. Without any shooting me. It's, uh, I don't like shooting me. Can't can you shoot someone else? Like a creeper in the tree? See, like that? That wasn't so hard. Just shoot the creepers. They don't mind. They're made for that anyway. I'll shoot the skeletons, because you know they're undead already. It's gonna go right through the fucking. thing, bones, whatever. I can't believe I just lost that word, bones. It's so. It's so. Pungent! Punch him! Punch him! No. I can't believe I just lost that word completely. Bones, it's such a difficult word. Oh, did you trip an arrow? No, you did trip an arrow, though. I want that. It's bone, I don't care about that. Oh, arrow, 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 arrow. No, I want that arrow. Okay, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It wasn't worth it, it wasn't worth it. Well, it was. But arrow was this. No, I can just make some. I don't... Oh. Well, thank you for revealing yourself, Mr. Gold Skeleton Spawner. Well, thanks just this guy. I thought it was someone in front of me. I was like, oh, God. Will you stop getting sh... You have thorns on around you, don't you? I can't... Yeah, two and one, bitch. How, do you... How durable are you? Good. You're still alive. Good. God, get rid of the spawner. Holy shit. That's a fucking sick ass skeleton. I wonder if he spawned with more health or something. That was just ridiculous. That's like immortal barren rock skeleton right there. Like I have 5,000 health. And gold armor. And thorns. And a power 10 flame. 5,000 infinity. 10 billion bow. So whenever I decide to shoot an arrow, I shoot 15 arrows instead. For the charge of. Oh! Hi. Do you drop anything? Of course not. Why would you? That would have been convenient. And nice of you, but no, we don't do that around here. Herb, herb, herb. We're just a bunch of assholes. Will you stop shooting me? And you as well. Please, and thank you. And go away. So is this a of this? No. There's a tree missing here. How lovely. Let's just, let's just hug the wall. It seems to have worked just fine so far. The wall seems to be fairly safe, and then the center area is gonna be a bullshit filled putting, I guess. And there's a point of attraction. Point of attraction, no point of interest. Put a shovel on me. Are you an archaeologist? Are you an archaeologist? An archaeologist? An archaeologist? An archaeologist? An archaeologist? Archaeologist. If you don't know where that's from, then I pity you. Come on, you. Come on! Oh, this chest. I guess this is an archaeological dick. I can't even pronounce that word properly. A clock clock. It's an ar archi dick. That's what I do. It's an, it's an A dick. A move dick. Not, not that kind of dick. D I G. Not D I C K. You know, a dick, not a dick. So a dick, but not a dick. You got that? Good. This is very important. It's a dick, but it's not a dick. You know, it's, it's, it's just a dick. Just a regular dick. But not. But it's, it's not a dick though, it's just a dick. The hell? Tall grounds. I don't know what I would need that for, I guess to... I guess to get seeds? Well, I already have seeds, so I don't really need that. Oh, I can take the chest though. For my own private storage room. That I already used, I already made, so I don't really need any more chests. Unless I want to expand it, which I probably do at some point, because it's kind of small. That's what she said. Hmm. Although also in case we move base, which is at this rate we probably have to soon because we already I'd say halfway done with the sixty one. So 
I'm probably gonna have to move to intersection two shortly. Well, not shortly, but you know, probably not. Probably not this episode, but in the end of. I'm assuming by next session we'll be moving to intersection two, probably. Or maybe maybe we'll already be there. I don't know. It depends on how. No, I probably I'll probably beat this area today, and then I'll just call it a day there because. It, we've already been recording for around two hours or so, so I don't want to do too much at one point. That'll just that'll burn me out. I mean, in addition to the entire not be really in the groove of things, I guess you could say. Um, my th actually, I, I need some water because a good thing about it is a good indication of me being out of shape in terms of commentary is that my throat is already kind of dry up. Um, Simply because I'm not used to talking this much, basically, on my own, anyway. Um, so just give me a second. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, as I was saying, because I'm uh, kind of out of shape in terms of um, commentary and making these videos, my voice is also... Oh, my throat isn't really um, up to snuff with it anymore. Let's just say that it's, it's, it's already getting a little um, dry, so I don't want to... I don't want to come and take, uh, do this for too long. I mean, back in the day, I remember when I did XCOM, I think it was Terra from the Deep or something, maybe it was Years of Defense, but I did a session back there that was like... I think I had a session that was maybe around four or so hours long, and that's just... that's not doable for me at this point, because I... my throat, my voice is just... it is completely out of shape for that. I am in no condition to do that. Unless, of course, I just have a lot of silent moments. But I don't know, um, let, let me know how you feel on that actually. Do you prefer the more explosive commentary, I guess, no, but the more constant flow of the dialogue, even if it's just a little bit rubbish, um, as in what I'm normally doing? Or do you prefer the more sort of relaxed uh, commentary where there is, well, there's a tendency to have a bunch of pauses where there isn't really being said much? Because the, the the latter version is it's a lot, it's a lot easier on the um, on the commentator because you get a lot more breaks where you can sort of just you know breathe in and out and get your throat re rehydrated again, as opposed to what I normally do, which is just talk out of my ass all day long. Then your throat it, it kind of takes a little bit of beating. What are you looking at me for? It takes it takes a little bit of a uh, beating fig figuratively after a while. Because you have to keep talking and 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 talking talking and it's just it's 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 a little rough on you, but it also means that there aren't as many downtimes in the video. So I can I can find another one. If there isn't as much downtime per se in the video, well, there isn't when nothing's being said. Which some people see as a good thing, other people see as I don't know. It it it, it depends on um, preference, I guess. Uh, let me know what you think in that regard. Do you prefer the more constant flow, or do you prefer the sort of relaxed method where there's a bunch of breaks, in it? or do you prefer a mix where there's both a bunch of talk, ooh, jam table, but there's also some breaks in it? Uh, let me know which one you prefer of those, and I just don't want to the trap or not. And let let me know what you prefer, and then I'll. Yeah, I guess I'll just work on that. I'll just use it as my use it. What are you doing? Use it as a point of preference. What the fuck is this? Oh it's oh I see it's one of these um, um it's the chest from the April's food like I think it was. A long time ago. I need to go actually. Let me just enchant my armor with level ones. But yeah, let, let me know how what you think on that. Um, well, it'll be helpful to me anyway. I don't, I don't know if it'll be helpful for you, but for me, it'll, it'll be useful to get some feedback on that. What do you prefer? Because it means I have more. Um, I know more what's and what sort of I can get away with. If, if I can get away with just sort of taking a break from talking all the time, or if it's if I should just, well, if that's a bad thing, basically, if you know what I mean. So let, let me know what you think of that. If you have any thoughts at all about it, I don't know. Maybe maybe you don't. I don't know. Let me just pick this up. I also want the furnaces, actually. What, is... what the hell? The fuck? Secret furnace? <laughs> okay, I'll take that, I guess. 
It's a secret furnace. It's hidden in the ground. No one will ever see it coming. And so there is seemingly a good part about going in here and a bad part about going in here early on. The good part is you get an enchanting table. It's fucking amazing. The bad part is there's a bunch of shit in here waiting for you. Uh, before you can actually get to the Tianning Town table, so... It's a sort of a risk-reward kind of thing, I guess. Depending how you look at it. Wasn't there another chest around here? I've already looked at that. I guess I already did. But I'll actually go back to base with all of this, because I'm carrying a lot of valuable stuff on me right now. So I'll go back to base, and then I'll meet you back over here. Honestly, those going back to base moments, that's actually what I mainly use. As uh, my excuse to get a little bit of a breather, I guess, for my voice, and you know, a little bit of a downtime when I'm like, <gasps> because when I'm back at base, I don't really have to worry about anything at all. I, well, I don't have to worry about talking really, because I'll be, for the most part, I won't really be showing that in the video anyway, so I can just sort of, well, rest, I guess, so that more than anything. Oh, wait, I only have 12 arrows? Like, seriously? <laughs> oh, yeah, guess what? I enchanted an iron sword with a level 6. I got knockback one. Yeah. As I just said, knockback one on the sword. It's okay, but when it's the only thing you get, it's kind of rubbish. I also enchanted another iron sword. I had two of them. The other one got smite once. That, that, that one's actually good. Because mo most maps seem to be very zombie heavy. Um, which makes sense, because it's. I don't know, zombies are kind of. you know. bleh. So. They seem to be spammable. I like the zombies, I see people use zombies in way more than use spiders, which is actually kind of confusing, because honestly, while spiders are kind of pathetic by themselves, I know, yeah, but if you give them, say, speed and strength, they don't become overpoweredly stupid, but they actually become dangerous. Um, because they can climb and they can jump at you, and it's just, they're, they're a pain in the ass, basically. Um, and most people won't really be getting bane of alpha prods anyway, so. It'll be, it'll be against spiders. Normally, people are used to spiders being, you know, pushovers. So if you suddenly have a spider that just kicks your fucking ass, and you're like, oh my god, what's going on here? And the skeleton needs to go away. Oh, perfect shot. So now the skeleton should be one. Oh, don't you. Don't. You yeah, come up here. Yeah, I know some people like to go for records. Personally, I don't give a shit. I've actually, I've actually find it funny because I've seen several people go for the records, right? And then when you finally get them, <laughs> they don't use them for it. They just have them doing nothing. I was like, why do you go for them? Why is it so important to get the fucking record if you aren't going to use it? I can understand it's just for the kind of, oh, look at me, I got a record. <laughs> I got a big dick now. But apart from that, I don't really see the appeal because they never listen to them anyway. Again, most maps don't really give up a jukebox, so it doesn't it really make sense that they don't listen to them. But still, I mean, if you're gonna go for a record, at least make use of it. You know what? Too many skeletons. Let's just find another path in the... Do leave anything in here? Well, that's that, I guess. It looks really fucking weird, but... I guess that could be my secret trophy. That's actually you know, my trophy. I'll, I'll bring that along. Although, if I remember correctly, if you place it down, it'll de I remember I did this in Legendary actually, where I placed down, and there was a locked chest, in a chest, and I placed it down, and I thought a creeper blew it up, but no, it just despawned, it vanished, instantly, almost. It, let me show you, uh, um, there's something in the game, because you had to remove them all from the nasty way, and where they seem to despawn after just a couple of seconds of placing the world. So, if I just keep it in my inventory, though, in the chest, I should be able to keep it forever, basically. But the moment I plant it, it'll stay in mid-light for a while, and it'll just sort of fuck off. I don't even know if it emits light anymore. Maybe it does. Jeez. Gravel. I should probably make some more arrows, actually. Grind up some flint, make some arrows. I don't know, I don't really feel like doing that right now. It's kind of boring to do, to be honest. Oh jeez. Soul sand and water. Yeah, I need to... Maybe I should go the other way around, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm right I'm doing it this way. What if I go the other way, like that way around instead? I've already been over there. It seems pretty... chill compared to the... Oh no, I see that. That guy has... 
No, it's the same as the other guys. I think it's, I think it is regeneration, but it could be resistance. Actually, another thing about it that would make more sense. Um, the big I don't know. At least the spawn is out in plain sight where I can see it. I can break it. It would suck if it was if, if, if it was hidden in the obsidian. That would be so terrible. That thing spawns fucking fast. Let's light up all this crap. Let's get, I think we go over here actually, and then we just sort of back pedal around this way. Is anything up there? It could be. Um, that right there might be something worth checking out. Um, eventually, anyway. Oh god! Oh, hello. It's a crater right here for no reason. I guess a creeper explorer here. I'm getting a lot of bows. No enchantments on those, so they're kind of rubbish. Actually, oh, I just realized what I could do. I could enchant bows until I get punch, and then combine it with this bow. Yeah. I don't know. I've actually know thing about it. I mean, it's great. No, I, I I love punch and bows, but. I don't know if that's actually going to be used, because this bow will probably kill most things in two hits anyway, so... Punch will only be really useful against creepers up close, and theoretically skeletons. Or, of course, panic attacks in case something charges me like a case by the... So I guess, yeah, that regard will be useful. Yeah, maybe I'll do it, I don't know. That yes. No, no, don't go into the cobwebs. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll do it, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll make that um, power 2 bow into a knockback bow. Punch bow, I'll just say. So I have two different bows. I have a kill everything bow, and then I have a reliable panic punch thing bow. I'll probably never use both of them at the same time, but it just seems weird. Well, you really should, in theory, carry around multiple weapons. You know, multiple swords, one for spiders, one for... Skeletons and one for creepers. Um, but I find myself just carrying around one side of sword in my hot body at time. Sometimes I have a few more. It depends on how early on it is, but for the most part, I feel that one does the job, and then if I come up against something else, I'll just use my bow. I'll just cry. Um, yeah, I don't know. In theory, you really should have both a bane and a smite sword on you, and then use a probably a bow against creepers or something like that. Uh, that's probably the most ideal way of dealing with everything ever, without wasting stuff. My stuff means durability. I mean, you, yeah, you, you could kill a Kriva with a smite sword, but you'll just waste a smite dur sword's durability. And even if it's diamond sword, it's still... You don't want to waste that durability if it's smite 4 or something. If it's just smite 1, then sure, go ahead, no one gives a shit. But if you got lucky with a smite four sword, then you really don't want to waste that on a creeper, to be honest. It just seems wasteful to me. Although I still do it myself, but, you know, I'm kind of stupid like that, so... Can't even follow my own advice. Where'd that creeper go? He didn't explode. Oh, there he is. That was a, I didn't even notice that loud over there. I thought, at first I thought it was a fucking beehive, and I'm like, why are there bees in here? I don't remember playing forestry all of a sudden. But no, it's a ladder. So I guess the main attraction of this, I guess the dungeon itself is, um, is in there. This out here is just sort of sightseeing or the garden or whatever you want to call it. The neighborhood, basically. The dog bites and all that. I only have 17 more torches left. It's kind of terrible. Oh, this is one there. It's a jungle tree here. Just quickly scout around with these last torches. To basically, oh god, don't go that way. To just basically scout out, not really scout out, basically just light out as much as I can so there'll be a lot more user friendly in here for me later. Hmm. Actually, I don't know, I mean, on the top of swords again and enchantments, I guess in theory, sharpness is probably the best enchantment you can get because you can use it against everything, but the thing is. You will also go through it much quicker, and it's actually not as efficient as, say, Smite is or Bane is. Um, honestly, for vanilla Minecraft, 
I'll have to agree with what I saw someone else say at one point. Well, it's just that um, a smite sword is probably the best you can get there. But even not because, let's be honest, most of your enemies you build up against are undead, you know, skeletons and zombies. And the occasional creeper you can just shoot with an arrow from your bow and be good to go, basically, unless you have royal eyes. In that, regard, that, is, that is probably the, um, the best you can get, but that's not to say that it's fucking amazing. I mean, oh, good god. Um, well, I have these pains in here. Um, let's just, let's just, let's just let's help this. Let's get some level. I guess we'll get level. This is high tier ability. Let's get some level 6. Fire protection. I don't see what the use for here, but alright. Uh, protection one. And by high tier ability, I mean not really that high. Not high enough that level 5 is like, oh, protection protection 2. That's useful. That looks like a stripper outfit though. Oh, torches. That's what I came back here for to begin with. Torches. I mean, most of the enemies you'll be fa facing up against in regular Minecraft are gonna be undead. You know, skeletons and zombies and that kind of stuff. So, in that regard, while sharpness would also work against that, sure, smite would be better at it. It'll it'll kill stuff faster. You won't need smite sharpness for sharpness five for. Uh, I think you can actually one-hit zombies with a smite f five sword as opposed to sharpness five, which actually can't one-hit anything if I remember correctly. Well, not from spiders, but against spiders, suck ass. Who cares? Mm. And the worst you can get is, is of course, being on our pots. And anything with fire aspect on it, though. I really don't like fire aspect. It's especially against zombies. Just actually anything, really. Oh, jeez! Holy fuck! Where did you come from? There's like a million of them! And he exploded. Of course he did. Um, but yeah, Bane is kind of useless because spiders already have the least health as it is, and you won't be facing up against them that often. Although it is useful against Silverfish too. Um, seemingly not, not a lot of people know that, but it's actually, it's, uh, after parts it's good against Silverfish, but again, in vanilla Minecraft you won't be facing up against Silverfish that often, so not really big of a deal. In custom maps though, Bane of Apropods can be useful, like, quite useful, but it'll depend on the map. In uh, Super Hostile, Waking Up, for example, there is an entire area which is just filled with silverfish. But if you have an iron sword with, say, Bane 4 or anything, or maybe maybe even less than that, you can actually just one-hit all the silverfish and just sort of be fine. I've always, I've always found it funny in that area because I've seen so many people say that area, like, oh my god, this place is so difficult, And I just ran in there with a smite, uh, well, Bane 4 sword, and I just one-hit all the silverfish and just ran through the place. It was from easy mode. So I don't, I don't see why. I think the other people didn't realize that Bane works against that, or maybe they just actually the, the people I've seen play that map when they come to that area, they take it very cautiously, which I think is the big error in the place. It's the Legion halls, in case you're wondering. People seem that they, they like go in and then they sort of place a few tolls and then they run back and start fighting stuff. And the problem is in that area because all the rooms are so close to each other. It's kind of like that ice area we were just in a few minutes ago, actually. It's the same general idea. By doing that, you're just causing even more shit to spawn, and you're not actually making progress. Um, what you need to do in that area, which I probably what I should have done uh, in that other area, is just charge in, place torches, and then just maybe either get out or just fight your way out, uh, or fight your way further in. Because the, the faster you can get torches down and light down, the better off you are. Some areas, although some areas that tactic won't work, but what did I get? Power 1. And there are some areas and some maps where charging in will get you killed horribly and where being a little slow is the better option. But in general, if, if a dungeon has rooms that are very close to one another, you kind of want to just get in there and get as much lighting down. You don't want to linger in the area, basically, that's what I'm trying to say. Because the longer you linger, the more enemies will be in the adjacent rooms. Which means when you finally conquer the primary room, the enemies from the adjacent room will come swarming in and you'll be like, Wow, there's so much shit in here, what is this bullshit? And then you'll be mad forever. Basically so, yeah. That's a little CGM advice by me. Take it or leave it. Maybe just leave it because... Oh, jeez. Another CGM advice. Vines are fucking amazing. 
I'm not asking advice. Skeletons can kiss my ass. That's not, that's not actually advice, but you know. Still. Oh, yeah. oh my sword broke. Alright, um... We came from the chest. That's what we were actually doing. Investigating a... Why is there a stone torch there? Oh, that's fine now. Ooh, spooky. There's nothing in here. Right, what's in here? Speed. Alright. Alright. I will take that. And I will raise you a potato. I wonder if I missed any chest on that side that was up that high like this. Maybe I did, I don't know. Potentially. I would like to get this area done today. But we're already approaching two and a half hours, recall. What's this? That looks suspicious. As I was saying, we already. Okay, maybe. Nah, okay, there's nothing. As I was saying, we are approaching two and a half hours of recording time, so. Although, I don't know how much of that is actually if. Um, non vocal stuff. I don't know how much of that is gonna be cut out. But generally, I like to stop at around the uh, three hour mark or something. Sometimes I'm stopped. Sometimes I stop earlier, other times I'm stopped later. But for the sake of my voice, I'm probably gonna stop around 2.45. Um, so we have uh, we have around half an hour left. Give or take, that is. I, I, I'd imagine that would be enough to beat this area. But of course, it'll depend on how much I have to do off camera. Like fucking getting more arrows because I have none again. We'll have six. That's the count. I was like, like saying, have a lot of food if you have one pineapple or something. Like, yeah, you have some, but that's not going to help you, is it? In case of a flood, you'll be fucked anyway. This skill is really annoying. Come over here. I'm just going to hide here. See, again, vines are useful. Come on! Run of all day. You're on a time schedule, bro. I don't have to waste an arrow on you, really. I don't want to. God. Oh, for fuck's sake, just die! Go, 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 go! Oh, now he leaves? No, fuck you! Get down here! Get... Yeah, you fuck off! No, you fuck off! Fuck you! Did you drop an arrow for that, please? Arrow? No, we're down one arrow. And there's another skeleton. Oh, I don't like this area. This area can kiss my ass. Just like the zombies can, those creepers can, everything can kiss my ass. Just all of you, go away! Especially... Oh, it's not cold, I don't want. Let's lure him up here, I guess. He's already on his way, so that's fine. Come on, get up here. Come on! Get up here. Come on! I can't make that dog uh, whistle noise. Like, yeah, no, I can't make it. That just sounds weird. No, I, I, I can't do it. Sorry, I can't do it. No, 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 no. Ooh! Holy shit! Thank you! Two arrows? Well, that was fucking jackpot winner! Hot damn! Score big time, Bliss Mr. Bling! Let's just. Let's torch up the perimeter, actually, before we go in for that spawner. Like that. I would have preferred for the creeper to follow me, please. Get your filthy ass up here. Skeleton, you are optional. We don't want to Oh, don't explode. Don't, don't, don't explode. Don't explode, no, 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 no explosions. No, oh, no. No enchantment, though. It's rubbish. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just go away. Right. Spawner. Let's, let's do this. Push you. Run down. Break. Break, 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 break. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Alright, now we need to kill the 5,000 zombies that spawned. And the one skeleton. <laughs> skeleton, no. Spider. Oh, I hate you guys. Just die. Die. Look at that. He's fucking invincible. Just die. Just, just die. Just die already. I feel like I'm in a horror movie where someone's shooting an alien. I just die, you fucking piece of shit. Ah, I'm just pumping lead into him. Um, although um, this truth isn't really that exciting, I'm just smacking zombies in the head with an axe. So, I guess that is sort of exciting if you're into that kind of stuff, but 
In terms of a horror move, an alien and a gun, I think that's more exciting to most people. Just die for the. Oops. Just fucking die, you piece of shit! I'll punch you to death with these boots. Right, so. I will go. get a new sword. I'll actually also see if I can't. I'll farm some gravel until either I get bored or I get enough flint, so. I'll see you in 15 minutes when I'm done, because it's gonna take fucking forever. So yeah, just just give me an hour and I'll be back.